Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Close Up, our weekly current affairs magazine. As usual, we have brought you two items. Going to the first one, Ethiopia and Oman have expressed keenness to move beyond their long-standing friendly relationships. This came during the ETO Oman Business Forum recently held in Addis Ababa. The forum took high note of the importance of strengthening business-to-business -business links as a way for mutual advancement. The Weirdo has compiled the following account. is an Arab country in the southeastern coast of the Arabian Peninsula, holding a strategically important position at the mouth of the Persian Gulf. The nation is bordered by the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia and Yemen. The country has modest oil reserves, ranking at 25th globally. In 2010, the UNDP ranked Oman as the most improved nation in the world in terms of peace and development. Though Ethiopia and Oman started affiliations many years back, formal relationship was established in 1995 following the signing of a bilateral agreement. Over 1,400 years ago, when our prophet suffered persecution in Arabia, he told his companions to go to Abyssinia, where there is a Christian king and nobody is wrong. And they did immigrate which is considered as the first immigration in Islam and probably Addis Ababa was the first city in the history of Islam to accept Muslims before al Medina and Mecca. Many Muslims don't know this fact. Ethiopia and Oman have been enjoying one of the most cordial ties in various sectors since the commencement of formal relations. The government of Ethiopia gives a great attention to fostering diplomatic and business ties with Sultanate of Oman. As part of that effort, Ethiopia has opened an honorary consulate in Oman to strengthen the diplomatic and business ties between the two countries. Economic policies adopted by the government of Ethiopia in recent years, coupled with the geographic proximity of the two countries, has played an instrumental role in promoting direct trade between the business community of the, the two countries. To this end, bilateral trade between Ethiopia and Oman has been improving and growing during the past few years. Though the trade turnover between Ethiopia and Oman has reached 24 million US dollars in 2013, the trade and investment relation between the two countries is still insignificant. The first Ethiopian Oman Business Forum held recently in Addis Ababa is believed to serve as a stepping stone to mend the situation. Our relationship in trade unfortunately does not reflect the spirit that we here come from. But we have to start somewhere and this is, I hope, one of the many trips that we are going to make in the near future. We're already planning for a large exhibition next year where we'll bring not less than 150 companies, Omani companies, to come here. This business forum will consolidate the excellent relationship that we have with, with, with Oman. And this forum also, I believe, that it will be a vehicle for promoting and strengthening economic, trade, investment, and our wider economic relationship that we, we, we have to develop it. Documents show between 1992 and 2014, only three Oman investors received license to do business in Ethiopia with a capital of 64.7 million baht. More investors are expected to be attracted to Ethiopia following the awareness created for over 20 huge Omani companies to part in the business forum. Ethiopia presents abundant investment opportunities, particularly in agriculture, agro-processing, mining, tourism, manufacturing, energy, and infrastructure development. I can surely inform you that there is almost a captive market to take advantage of in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is a country endowed with untapped and immense investment opportunity in the area of agriculture, livestock, agro-processing, manufacturing industry, 
industries, construction, real estate, and tourism, among others. If used skillfully, this, I believe, would be to the interest and benefit of our two countries. The Oman business people need to undertake and pay attention to investment and business opportunities in Ethiopia in order to get a hold of thriving and a mutual beneficial opportunities to our countries. In this regard, I assure you that the government of Ethiopia would work on the basis of our mutual benefits and our full support will be with you. Members of the business community from the two countries held business-to-business -business discussions in a way that promotes partnership in the investment sector. The business community in Ethiopia used to travel to various countries to look for market and global partners. But these days, the government is organizing such B2B meetings, which enable us to meet partners easily. This saves time and money and promotes global investment in Ethiopia. We are going to visit some offices and companies and, you know, we are uh, doing a lot of feasibility study for some factories here in, uh, in Addis to establish some investment. And hopefully in a year or two, there will be a lot of business between the two countries. We are looking for some partners, that's why we are discussing with them. And uh, right now we discuss with them also regarding the granite and uh, marble in north of Ethiopia, south Ethiopia, east of Ethiopia right now. They have their manufacturers themselves in Oman regarding the marbles, but, you know, uh, what our uh, interest highly is to export our marvelous and different of marvelous what we have in Ethiopia, also to work as a joint venture together with them, with the company. Of course, they will be researching and they will look at our activity first. The Omani investors, they are looking more of the uh, food sectors, of the manufacturing mainly. So they really, they are exporting, but they want to manufacture here, so it will be easier uh, to explore and export to all the other countries. The Ethiopian Chamber of Commerce and Sectoral Associations organized the Ethio Oman Business Forum in partnership with Oman's Investment and Export Promotion Agency.